We can escort you off a of seaport village. These false accusations can be made all day, but there ain't you're going to do about it because we were in public and I have it all on film. Okay. Oh, okay. You guys called security and stop. Stop what? Go away. You can't be recorded no. Seem like it made people uncomfortable. I'm sorry, you can. You're not making this easy. It must not be any fun for you. Yeah, I don't want you to take a picture of me. Because so, you guys are wearing masks. You guys are totally prepared for this conversation and I'm not. Thank you, Impact Media. Welcome to Impact Media, where we dive headfirst into the intriguing world of First Amendment auditing and expose the realities of a society surrounded by cameras and cluelessness. Get ready for a roller coaster ride as we educate, entertain, and sometimes make you facepalm at the lack of privacy knowledge out there as we remind people that they are always being filmed. Join us as we capture the hilarious reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Some reactions will make you laugh, while others will leave you questioning the state of education in our tech-filled landscape. Brace yourself for eye-opening encounters, mind-boggling encounters, and a whole lot of, did that really just happen? moments. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and most importantly, learn about your rights in a world where even your cup of coffee might be watching you. Welcome to a channel where we expose the absurdities one camera at a time. And never forget to please take a second and like this video so the YouTube algorithm bots can share this far and wide. Guys, you're going to want to stay tuned for this video. Smash the like right now, please. Uh, I deserve it. I'm beautiful. And so is this video today. All right, guys, good morning. I am here today with both my sons. Um, we are here downtown San Diego. Uh, not a place we were planning on trying out today, but we're going to go ahead and do it um, and then make our way to Seaport Village and go from there. All right, guys, we're at the Village Cafe. Looks like they got some uh, coffee, some acai. They got the out outdoor dining. Hello. How can I help you? We're just we film videos at each location and All right. <laughs> All right. What's that? None. None. Just from taking video. Did you wear your Gucci glasses? <laughs> I had cheaper ones in the car. <clears throat> My son's over here Gucci'd out. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay filming? What's that? How long are you gonna stay filming? We don't know, just get people coming in and out. Uh, no, you, I'm sorry, you can't. So some people- We don't can't? Like some people they don't like to be filming so well that's you, not you are going to interrupt my business it's not really a choice for them okay we're, in a public space. we're on a public sidewalk and we take business we take video of all the open businesses i know i know a public place but somebody some people they don't like to be filming hey. so they're not gonna come in so they're gonna keep walking so this is gonna interrupt my business that's not you understand okay yeah, that's but that's not us interrupting time. that's their choice if they want to walk by or not I mean, he he had no problem with it. He walked in with no problem. That's fine. No problem. Yeah, so you can stay on the side somewhere because you keep a room for people to sit. No, no, that's fine. That's fine for you. I, I'm out of the way. Yeah. That's fine. No, you're friends. So the people they want to sit. Yeah, no, that's fine. So when he's next to the table, yeah. So he if can they sit. if they come to sit, he'll move. That's not a problem. No, no, he have to move to sit the people. Yeah. If they yeah, yeah. Okay, that's sit, fine. Move, yeah, yeah. But that's I'm, good. I'm not gonna move until somebody wants to sit. Yeah, if somebody wants to sit, he'll move. You know what? You have to go film the, the homelessness out there harassing the, the, the businesses. We get all of it. All right. It's not just the businesses. All right, good luck. So a little backstory Some here. You don't like to get filmed? Then, yeah. And this is they're going to keep walking. So a little backstory here on this location. So... My friend and I were walking by and he had just assaulted a homeless woman. Now mind you, the homeless woman was, you know, being a little agitating, um, but he was actually physically assaulting her. And so we had to pull him off, um, the owner of this coffee shop. So it was a very tense situation. Um, you know, it's 
not, you know, it, it, it's easy to blame him because he did lay hands on a woman and that's why we called him out. We actually got onto him, pulled him off, um, pushed him around a little bit to kind of show him like, hey, this is not okay. Um, the homeless lady had taken a crap on his porch. So, <laughs> it's kind of like, where do you fall on that? <laughs> but, you know, still don't lay hands on a woman, man. Not in front of me. Yeah, he did mention that we're obstructing his business and that customers don't want to be filmed. Yeah, He's got some invisible customers. Yeah, he has one customer in there and nobody else is on the street. Yeah. So... You know, I get sometimes doing this that you do catch people on their worst day. But, um... Oh, the down street and the G street? Yeah, well, yeah. Someone. That's that's a that's a rough crash, man. Yeah, it's a whole ass door. Someone left their oh, door here. Yeah, left a whole bunch of parts. Besides <laughs> oh damn! They went into the. Jeez. Someone crashed through everything right here. That's crazy. But to leave a door behind, that's yeah. pretty epic. How did they leave a whole ass door? <laughs> that's nuts. This is what downtown San Diego is looking like, guys. Not just part of it, all of it. Um, you know, the uh, there's nothing being done about this. No shelters being dipped. And the other day, someone called me out saying, oh, you know, churches give. And, you know, I'm sorry, but we have 20 mega churches in San Diego. And one half-ass run homeless shelter by Father's Joe's, Father Joe's, that is almost at capacity every day. I mean, yeah. bro, there's like doo-doo on the sidewalk right there. That's oh, fucking... Yeah, that's City of San Diego needs to step it up wildly with the assistance of all these mega churches in San Diego County. None of them stepping up and doing anything. Like, how do we have 20 mega churches in San Diego? And none of them have built housing within them for homeless, underprivileged, underserved. I know this looks like doggy doo doo. Yeah, because these are being used. There's the suspects right there. <laughs> Alright, guys, if anyone wants to go on rub maps and let me know what their ratings are. Little Thai massage. Looks like one of those shady places. They have some cool bags. They got shirts, merch, hats. I like how they're branding this. This is actually really smart. So we are at Egus, guys, on G Street here in San Diego. As we venture a little closer to downtown. She turned on her camera and then put it in her pocket. <laughs> Giving us the cam back with a bit. I don't know where the entrance is. Maybe it's over here. They got a lot of front doors. You're either filming somebody or please leave this. We just make videos of different areas and. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Sergio. Sergio? Is that your shop or? No, I just oh. work here. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's what we do. 
They're a lot of fun. You just walk around downtown? Yeah, so not usually downtown areas. Yeah. Um, today we wanted to come down here. It is Sunday, uh -huh. um, but we wanted to come down here a lot to show the homeless situation and uh -huh. how filthy the streets are right now. And, okay. um, but it's still a nice, vibrant area. It just sucks that yeah. the cities, the churches, all these people need to band together and actually do something finally. And, right. You know, so hopefully this video will convey some of that. Yeah. Downtown, but, you, I'm sure you'll get some good footage. Oh, yeah, we did. We already got... <laughs> yeah, we got whole ass dookies on the sidewalk. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> it's all bad, man, but, you know... Do you guys have a Facebook or... Uh, YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. What's your guys' YouTube? So, we don't normally share that. I will with you. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. All right. So, it's... Uh, if you go on the YouTube app... I'll type it in. So go ahead. And, uh, So we're a month old channel on this channel. Okay. We're already at 30K. So oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are like based out of here in San Diego? No, so uh, we live up in Orange County area, but we're from San Diego. Okay. So we came back down here to start. Right. Um, then we're going to go back to like Orange County area. Then we'll do LA and we're going to start traveling. <laughs> That's dope. So, All right, we're sure. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, good luck. You have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too, bro. Yep. All right, guys, we are here at Allen's Flowers. Kind of a big flower shop, if you think about it. So if you guys want to go grab over there. So as a reminder, guys, most of these shops, and I forgot to show you the last few, but um, most of these shops are Delamias all the way down the sidewalk. Um, so... of the uh, anti homeless ventures here. All right, guys. We have a, quite a big setup here. We have a little farmer's market going on, but um, so we have the El Chigon, badass Mexican Cuban cuisine right next door. And then the Field Irish Pub and Restaurant. All right, guys, it's been five minutes. Let's go. What's that? Stop it. Stop what? Go away. Turn that damn thing What on. do you mean? The camera. I don't want it. You don't want my camera? Uh, I don't want you to take a picture of me. I'm not taking pictures. I don't care what it is. Just hey, it I'm taking there. video. Well, what's the difference? Well, I'm video is... Glasses, mask on, okay. Stay the hell away. Stay the hell away? You're, I'm in public and you're in public. Literally, I'm just walking by and you started yelling at me. You can't tell like, I wasn't even filming him and he just started freaking out on me. Stop that. What's that? Stop. So now I'll sit here. <laughs> I was literally leaving. <laughs> yeah. I saw you getting prepared to leave. I was about to turn my camera off. I said it's a safety concern. Well, this restaurant's rude. She said, get a life. I got one. 
I'm retired at half their age. <laughs> Reported it to a safety app. What is that? Look it up. I'm curious now. I reported it to a safety app. Does that mean they, the the Karens have a quicker way for 911 to get here? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, they're gonna sit right next to the window again. Until they notice that we're filming them. <laughs> Welcome to the team, man. <laughs> Literally, almost every time we're about to roll out. Somebody has to jump in. I saw that happen to him. He called you over to talk to you and then told you Well, no, to go so away. he didn't call me over. What he did is, as I'm leaving, he's like, put that away. And I'm like, wait, what? He's like, I don't want that. And I was like, you don't want my camera? Like, I, it's I don't. It's not yours anyways. Like, what the heck? He wasn't being very communicative. He just started making demands. They are watching us from up there. That's fine. They can watch. This is funny. They're taking cam backs of us now. Guys, weird, weird, weird. So I literally told the boys, I'm like, hey, let's go. We're going to move on to the next spot. Uh, everyone was being chill. And then that guy decided to completely make an ass of himself and start demanding I put my camera away. Uh, that was the weirdest, weirdest situation ever. Now, we are coming up here on a street fair. That's cool, though. Do you make these? Do you make these? Do you make them? or? No, my partner is making them, yeah. But they're, late, they're cut with laser? That is... Do you, do you have an Instagram page? So I think I put that upside down. <laughs> so they have some cool stuff here, guys. If you want to check out that website, um, they have a lot. And these are notebooks. They have a lot of really cool designs here. That's sick. And they do the. And you guys do the engraving on the glasses too. Yes, sir. That's super cool, guys. Got to check them out. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. They different flavors and stuff. Nice. And there's a random mannequin in the middle of the road. If anyone wants to dance. Good, good, good. Oh. Is this your brand or is it? It's my brand right here, Bear Prince. I make all these hats right here. Nice, nice. Uh, do you have an Instagram? Yeah, so it's Bear Prince, B E R R P R I N T Z. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Platform. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good one. Yep. Good, good, good. Um, is this your brand? Yeah. You guys work together? Or? We work together, but we're separate. So this is talking about mental health, uh, changing brothers' mentality um, with the, oh, the epidemic with opioids. You know, Absolutely. You have our faith and consistency. consistency. You got to have faith in everything you do, and you got to be consistent at it. So what's the mission behind your brand? Just to bring awareness, bring awareness of mental mental health stuff, and then also um, faith and consistency. You got, do you have an Instagram page? I do. It's at My Beauty's Conscious. All right, guys. Perfect. Right. Thank you. You have a Thank blessed you. morning. All right, you too. Yep. So who makes the candles? Me and my husband. So do you, are they molds or you actually carve them? They're molds. They're molds? That's it's still badass. Do you guys have an Instagram page? Yeah. Um. These are the coolest shaped candles guys I've ever seen. 
and they're homemade by this uh, husband and wife team. I, I like these little rose bear candles. You also ship. And you also ship? Yes. That's good to know. So uh, it looks like they're on Instagram, uh, Dago Candles. Um, but yeah, this is this is badass. The thing about them is you don't even have to light them. They smell by themselves. Like they're, you promote them as home decor. I can smell them. They're, yeah. they're, they're very... Yeah. You promote them as home decor so you don't have to light them. So that's cool. So you don't have to light to get the aroma, guys. Uh, if anyone wants some cameras, you got to hit up their Instagram page. They also have uh, the hello at dagocandles.com. Candles? What did I say? You said cameras. Cameras. Cam candles. <laughs> hey, you guys have a blessed day. And look at this cool box that they put together. They have like a Valentine's Day kit. Yeah, that's such a cool kit. So how much is the, like, the Valentine's Day kit? Where's your price? Oh, it starts at 22. Or okay, yeah, yeah. So they're right there. Okay, I found the pricing. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. The lanterns. So their lanterns are really cool. Little gas fire ones. Oh, Hold on, what's going on? What's going on? We're recorded. Then you can't be recorded. No, you're wildly misinformed. Well, we're getting a complaint. You can get complaints, but you're wildly right. misinformed, and you can't then convey misinformation. Like we're allowed to film, bro. Yeah, okay. so if well, they are in public, they don't get to have, they don't have to give consent. Okay, well, what's the incident with you guys going inside the restaurant? And what's that? What's the incident regarding you guys going inside the restaurant? I cannot express how many times that we get false accusations made against us just because we are filming in public, which is why today I have chosen to ask my sons to also wear masks because I don't want these false accusations made against them also. We have it all we, on video. We, we have everything okay. on video. And Nobody we, went into a restaurant. That, wasn't, that didn't want to be filmed? He was that's sitting... That's the complaint okay, we were getting. If he you was, want to stop interrupting me... In street. Okay. okay, he was sitting street side. Mm -hmm. We were in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. It's all on video. Okay. Period. So these false accusations can be made all day, but there ain't shit you're going to do about it because we were in public and I have it all on okay. film. That spot right there... That is a picture of us on the street. We are on the street. Okay, now you guys didn't go past that then? No. Oh, okay. We know what we're doing. We, we do this full time. Okay, well, I'm going to take a picture for the city to let them know that I talked to you guys. Thank you. You want to let them know you're also giving out misinformation? I had to get that to the report. Yeah, we were misinformed. We, that's why we're trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, that's up for them to decide. Okay. Uh, that's a, well, I'm just doing my job and getting the your side of the story. Uh, trash cleanup. This is nowhere near done, guys. Just wait for the hypocrisy that is about to play out in front of us when he confronts us about our mask. You guys have a YouTube chat? Yeah, but we're not, we don't give that out when we're dealing with incidents like this. We have no problem telling people what we're doing and sharing that information, That's but fine. not, yeah. you know, when you guys come up and say we're not allowed. That's, that way it'll be your word with theirs, so it you doesn't, guys can figure it regardless, out. but when you come out and give misinformation, that's not a wise thing for you to do because it gets you in tense arguments and situations. No, I'm going, I'm no, no. explaining to you what you they said told that we, me. No, no, your misinformation I'm talking about is you telling people that they can't film people in public without consent. That's misinformation. You can't film somebody if they're inside a restaurant or if on a patio. If I, you absolutely it. can. If I can okay. see them from public, I can film them. That's what you need to understand. You can't trespass your eyes, therefore you can't trespass a lens. So if I, if you, if you were sitting inside this window, I can film you all day because why I can see you, you from that, public. Bro? Yeah. Why? What's the purpose of your film anyway? This what's is what I do. Your job. What's the point of you well, yeah, being a security guard? Safety. Okay. To make sure and my job is safe. to raise awareness about our rights that are being eroded in this country. So are you a, are you an activist? I am an auditor activist and I also disseminate okay. the news so of that, certain areas. I've seen this online. They, they, they're allowed to do it. Yeah. They do it all the time and they're trying to, trying to get you down. No, so we don't. See, that's where you're wrong. Our, so uh, we have nine channels that are about education. So see, your that's ignorance. Right. Too. Are okay. you guys with the school? No. But okay, your okay. ignorance and statements like that, he's going to become the thumbnail for sure. That's... <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so you would explain it? Hey, ignorant statements like that is exactly why we're here. Mm -hmm. We're not here to push buttons. We're here to desensitize people to being publicly filmed and the rights that we have and have to maintain in this country. And the the people that are getting the rights stepped on the most are the minority communities. And so, like, we're out here trying, like, we are challenging the cops who every day cross legal boundaries and get you know people who do not understand the rights and the law as well as we might mm -hmm. we challenge their authority we press and we bring awareness to those rights and remind people daily like you have these rights you do not have to identify yourself when a cop pulls you over and asks you you do not have to do certain things you do not have to give up a fourth amendment waiver because you walk into you know a, an area where there's police and okay. suddenly they want to id you so you for him to make for protesting no okay Weird question, but why is that a question no, you'd even I ask? was just wondering <laughs> to see where where your where your line was. Like, have you have you ever participated in any sort of a protest that was out of hand or a violent activity? That's a weird question, but I no. I know what you're trying to get out of it. Because so, you guys are wearing masks. With yeah. You are too. You. Literally, you're wearing a hat. You're wearing the same getup as me while challenging what I'm wearing, which is ironic. Like it's just it's asinine that you said that. Why are you wearing a mask? Because I have to deal with people that may have colds and allergies. Okay, and so you don't think I? So I'm not out here in the same situation. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. All right. Why are you wearing glasses? So, because it's hot. Why are you okay. Because I have to. I'm required well, to. Well, uh, ride the bike. But. I ride the bike. Okay, but you can't have the same getup as me and then challenge why I'm wearing my getup. See, that's my point. When does the line become the line when you try to take the teeth out of the law? You can't just what pull do you mean teeth, teeth out, out of the, the law? law? What do you mean no. teeth out of the law? This is That's how the law question. is written. Exactly. The law protects so, us to do this. Out, we're, we're brushing the law's teeth. That's a good point. Okay, so anyway, how long? That was a good. <laughs> what's that? So what's what's the? Are you guys making a documentary? No. So yes and no. So we disseminate our interactions with the public while out here filming reminding them that we are constantly being filmed so when you leave your house on a daily basis you are filmed over 70 times a day Bingo. whether or not you know about it the only reason people come up and approach us and get on us for this camera is because there's a person attached to it so they notice it you didn't notice as you're walking down the street the 15 cameras on the sides of the buildings filming us as you're walking down the street but right. they notice this one because there's a person attached to it behind to behind it and yeah. that's what the education is about it's to remind them that you are constantly being filmed you know this isn't the 90s where you can walk down the street and there's not cameras in everybody's pockets in every building and street corner so you know our th this assumption that we have privacy in public never existed but it was assumed because it used to be that way reality is I'm sorry no. Why not? You don't have to. You have a cute face. I'll treat it too. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you scared of? Nothing. Let's take off your mask. Diseases. I'm sorry? Diseases. Not diseases. Anyone? Okay. <laughs> so, anyone, do you have a, a brochure or anything? So, we do not. We I'd do like not. To, I would like to, to, to check out your YouTube. One so, day. we we normally. We'll provide that to people that started out really well with this us. Isn't, this isn't part of the record. I'm just no, no, no. I, I understand that, but because yeah, I, you have access to that app, mm -hmm. and these people are messaging you, just out of the, uh, I, I have well, to. I showed you that I wasn't BS. No, 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 but I have to assume that it's something that you would then share with others, and so I can't yeah, do that right city. now. What's that? It goes to the city. Yeah, I'm not giving the city the the YouTube. That's just not happening. <laughs> I'll just put YouTube, YouTubers making a video. Absolutely. That's the easiest terms we can say. When people ask us what we're doing, we tell them we're filming. And sometimes they understand that that's the response they're going to get. Sometimes they don't. Of awareness. Of First Amendment rights.
I want you guys to also be aware, most of you guys can tell that this is a security guard, not a law enforcement officer. And the only reason I am engaging him this long is to hopefully provide him with some education because he was completely ignorant on our rights and the law. And even as a security guard and people that do not know the rights and people that fear security guards, he does not need to be out there giving out wrong and incorrect information. There you go. So perfect. There you are. So the uh, public safety notification app that you guys use, I'm assuming, is that just a San Diego thing? It's a state. State. Yeah, well, that's kind of a state. that's kind of a cool thing to have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just another Karen app. <laughs> well, gentlemen, since you're expressing your First Amendment right, you don't violate. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. You too. Yep, stay cool. Yeah. By the way, if you get my if you get me on video, make sure you get the dirty hair part. <laughs> yeah, go on, buddy. So what did he say to you when he first came up? He was saying that I can't he was saying you can't film people without their permission. Really? Which you can if you're in that's, public. That's so. ridiculous. So yeah, we're all masked up today. I had to tell him to wear masks because yesterday's false accusations put all over Facebook is evidence of why auditors should be masked up. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Is it for YouTube or something? Uh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we do uh, First Amendment auditing. What's your YouTube? So um, normally we don't hand that out because I don't want you know. Um, Me to know you. It's it's not that. So um, that part I don't care about. Um, but when there's people getting upset because you guys called security and stuff, then we don't hand out the information because then you know people like to you know be Karens about it. So okay. All right. I'll try to find you. <laughs> yeah, do, do it, man. You know, we, we do fair dissemination, so. Oh, okay. You have a good day, though. You too, thank you. All right, guys, we're at the Gas Lamp Breakfast Company here in downtown San Diego. It's a little bit of a busier corner here. I love these buildings right here, guys. Very uh, space age looking. And then we have the convention center right here. And the trolley tracks is yes. all right guys we got a really unique art installation here I have no idea what the hell it is but it looks cool I would have loved the job to intentionally scratch it there's no plaque it doesn't say anything about it oh there it is it's in the front all right Breaking of the Chains by Melvin Edwards, 1995. Hmm, I've never seen it before. <laughs> this is the only part of San Diego they care about now. So if a city can keep this this way, why couldn't they do it to the rest? It's pick and choose, guys, pick and choose. Selective enforcement, selective help. I just want to get the security guards hanging out here. You got a city worker and contracted security guards just chilling here. Just chilling. That one right there. Right here? Yeah. I watched the ones from, uh, what's it called? Either up in, uh... Long Beach or? Yeah, I watch a lot of them. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, they, you'll they, enjoy ours then. They, they, they actually, I'm, I'm gonna watch them. Yeah. I'll watch them at home too. What's your name? Ernesto. I'm Jack. How you doing? Uh, Ernesto. Yeah, I've been, I've been watching them and yeah. you guys are uh, really report the police too. Everything, all of it, city halls, city everything. Hall. Yep. Well, you guys, yeah, you, I mean, I've seen the one with uh, someone who went to the city hall. And they wouldn't let them in. Yeah. You guys have the right to go with it. Yep. It's There's public. a bunch of that. It's public, yeah. You have a good day, buddy. All right, you too. Yep. So, yeah, city contracted security so, guard right no, there. Literally, he is bathroom police. Because the woman walked up, he pressed a button, and the bathroom door opened. So, I don't understand it, but so we have security contracted bathroom police, and it staffs three security guards on a Sunday. Um, to operate the buttons to open the bathrooms which is obviously to prevent the homeless people and stuff from going in there and you know using them as showers and whatnot all the more reason san diego that instead of wasting money on that bullshit, uh provide a bathroom area for homeless people how hard is it to put a pole in the middle of a room and have the spigots like they do in uh uh pe rooms and stuff and let them have a place to shower and do their business make it all out of steel and concrete and go in there and just power wash the shit out of it and be done Literally. all right guys if i was homeless i would have my very own swimming pool right here because it is outside any fenced areas and at night i'd be swimming in that in the summer guys we are at the near the port of san diego we're at the marina and very out san diego hotel marina and this is the seaport village area all right guys um i know uh i know my my, my subs love me and all but um do you love me enough to buy me that who's gonna send me that right now like come on find one on amazon have it shipped to my house oh come on that's such a beautiful picture guys yeah, warm my heart. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. Hey, good luck though. Good luck. So I like the. Uh... You should go get the cars in the video. Go get the cars in the video. Um, spill the beans here. Coffee and bagel. San uh, Seaport Village. I like the little lighthouse they got going on here. So that's really cool. Um, and then you got Crack Taco Shop now. My wife and I tried these tacos. They are not good. <laughs> um, they're definitely not tacos. They're something that resembles tacos, but they're not tacos. So. She stands over me. Forest, T H E J U L I A N, forest like the trees. Perfect, perfect. Hey guys, um, wow. we are here with uh, like independent music and all that good stuff. So, um, people donate money to our channel, so we're gonna donate right now. Um, do that for them. So, just uh, the person that donated last night, 
Um, we're going to utilize some of your donation to um, give to this young artist. Support young music, especially when they're out here putting the grind in and they don't get it the easy way. Uh, they got to work every inch, every mile. There you go. Oh, thank you so, so much. We get, Are you kidding me? We get, we get money donated uh, through our channel oh, wow. um, to give to people that deserve it. I am absolutely in love with independent artists. I used to shoot music videos oh, and stuff sick, and uh, promote shows here in San Diego. Oh, and amazing. so, I, yeah, we used, to pr I, we used to actually produce them. So, yes, uh, the other day we went over to Coronado. That's the beautiful blue bridge that we went over. That thing is so tall. It's crazy. Um, so this is the other side of Seaport Village right here. Um, in general, you always get a lot of vendors here. You got the SEAL tour, so that car actually goes into the ocean. And then you of course got your San Diego old school trolley tours. <laughs> Thank you, Impact Media. Look at these beautiful cars sitting down here at Seaport Village. Seaport Village tonight. Look at that beautiful thing. That's an Impala. Ooh, rare. The condition of these cars, man, is beautiful. Can't believe there's two of them in the same parking lot. So I don't want to interrupt the photo shoot there. <laughs> Beautiful. Is this, is this one of yours or no? Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Look at that, guys. This is, uh, some love went into this thing. Look at that. That paint job is just phenomenal. It's not going to do justice. Dead batteries. <laughs> <laughs> this is paint job, guys. That is amazing. How you doing, man? I got it, got it, bro. This is a beautiful machine. Thank you. Did you do all the work on it? No, I had everything done. Just pay for it, get it done. Get your, it but your dream, That's put it, together. Man. Beautiful, man. Thank you. amphibious vehicle this is the one my wife and i went on last month it was really fun this is the one that goes on the water as well yeah right? Search that hashtag on uh, Instagram. They actually have them all over the state, all over the states. Um, so that, it has a really cool experience if you guys ever get to do it. Before we get underway, just three things I need to go over in regards to safety. 
first, the vessel is quite tall. As you zoom down... If you heard that radio sound in the background, we'll get back to that shortly. But yeah, that was done intentionally to keep us from filming this. As we zoom down the road, you'll see signs and branches. Uh, whiz by us at great ish speed. We don't go that fast, but we do go fast enough that if you stick your arm out and come in contact with something, it's gonna hurt. So please, everyone, keep your arms, legs, feet, and everything inside the vessel as we cruise down the road. Let's do it. Welcome aboard. Just careful the feet in front of you. Do one, do one. We're just taking video. So just so you guys know what's going on, the lady in the booth right here kept making noises on the speaker that they have here so that we could not record the instructions for the sealed cruise, which we just wanted to include. We just, you know, we thought it would be kind of a cool thing for you guys to hear and be part of the video. But she intentionally kept looking at us and then making noises and so we couldn't record the audio. So if you guys hear all the distractive noise in the background, instead of him speaking, it was her intentionally adding distortion to the video that we were making. So we came over here to kind of put them on display, you know, for their actions. And she hid behind a pillar and then ran off and said she doesn't want to be on video. I'm like, you made a spectacle for no reason at all. Why make a spectacle if you don't want to be on video? So when she was doing all that chaos so that we couldn't record what was going on, she certainly wanted to be a spectacle. But yeah, this thing's really tall, guys. I am six foot and it's at least 12. Yeah, I'm trying, I thought it would be a really cool thing to include the what he was saying in the video. And she kept looking over and then making noises on the thing so we couldn't record it. And I'm like, that was jackass three shit to do. Like, why be that way? They got one of those kites with the really long tails up there. They're closing up. It's all your fault. <laughs> That's your fault. I don't think so. Hi guys. Hello. How you doing? What are you doing? We're just taking video. Of? Just video. For what? <laughs> we don't disclose that while we're working. Does that seem weird? Does it seem like it made people uncomfortable? Well, okay. So going down that road, is it my job to make other people feel comfortable? Like what if what if I'm not comfortable because okay, you're this wearing a badge? Is not a debate that I'm ready to have. Okay, but, all right. but why won't you tell me what it's for? We just we don't share that while we're working. It, it's, okay, that doesn't seem like aggressive or. Uh, if, have I been aggressive to you? We're not being aggressive. Well, you, don't touch me. Okay, you've you been guys, no, but you're using trigger words, uncomfortable, aggressive, and I haven't. I okay. you came up to me. Okay, you guys may be familiar with this conversation. I'm not. Okay. I mean, you obviously are prepared for this conversation. Okay. It's. I don't understand why you're here. Why are you doing this? So you don't have to understand though. I mean, we are on public property, and you know we're free to take well, video. You guys pictures. are people. You understand how 
If I don't want my picture taken, I shouldn't have to have my picture taken. If you're in public, so like for example, I don't want my picture taken. So yeah. what have I done? I've created my own privacy yeah, in public. Yeah, that, that's weird. So no, but no, but the that's onus. Really weird. Well, yeah, but, but well, no, no, hold on, but no, no, over. but hold on, hold on, no, no, but hold on. Going down that, sitting. going down that line, okay. How is the onus on me to give you your privacy in public? understand that question you guys okay i'm not you guys clearly are prepared for this conversation and you're and you're um what's the word i'm trying to be it's a uh, you're being um you're not making this easy that's not the word i'm looking okay. for but well it's not my job to make your job easy Okay, but it's oh. not my job to be in your pictures. How's that? Is that is you? That you evil? came in. No, but you came into my picture, didn't you? Did okay, I walk up I'm to in you? Public? But did I walk up to you? Exactly. Okay, I'm in public. Exactly. Okay, so you guys have cameras all over. This. There's one right there. So what if I don't give you guys consent to record me? Okay, just tell me what it's for. I can't. I don't understand that. I can't. Okay, you I'm, guys I'm have understand to understand that. how that makes people uncomfortable. Okay, but, guys are people too. but that camera and the one on the other side of that's facing this entire park, that's making me uncomfortable. You guys are recording me over here on the grass without my permission. Okay, again, you are you guys are totally prepared for this conversation, and I'm not. But I, I just, you guys are people, just like me. Yes. You have to understand that this is but weird I, the way you're, it might you're be, covered but up and you're taking It might pictures. be, but let me... people's perception. We aren't being no. weird. It's okay. people's perception that we're being weird. I well, let me let me give you a little bit of an olive branch here. Okay. Okay. So we are exercising a first amendment right. Okay. Still. Rights cannot be made into being weird. Right. If you get what I mean, okay. like you can't turn a okay. constitutionally protected activity into something that is weird, because then it's a hundred percent your perception that it's weird. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing that's weird. See, I disagree. Okay. I think what you're doing is weird. So the yes. First Amendment, and, and hold on. Is what we're doing. Okay, but, but you're people just like me. Yes. Don't you think it's weird? No, because I'm out to here. To cover up like that? Absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. So I let me. you have, don't have a disease. Oh, is that, are you doing it for pre okay. protection? Having but nothing to I'm do just, with the I'm camera. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. saying it has how, nothing how to do do with the How do I know you don't have a disease? How do I know you're not going to post my face somewhere and make false claims about me? Okay. I don't know that. Okay, so let me, hold on. Let me give you. I don't know that. No, no, let me give you the, let me give you, hold on, let me give you the, no, 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 you actually made our point. Let me give you, let me give you the best example. Okay. okay. So we, we film videos of our interactions with people. Okay. okay. We post them online. It's video content. So it, we post the entire interaction. So there's no way to, there's no untruths about it. It's just posted. Gotcha. All right. So somebody who's upset by us, for example, taking a video, let's say they take a picture of me like they did yesterday and they post it on a Facebook profile of their group. And on that Facebook profile, let's say they claim, oh, this man harassed us, he chased us around. So this lady had made, made all kinds of false accusations about us when we were just taking videos in public, posted online something I can't defend against unless I know that it exists, which is why I choose to be private and public. You're making my point. No, that's my point. See, I'm not doing that to people though. I'm just recording video and I'm putting the video online. But I'm not. But I'm not. But I'm not making. You're doing that to other people, but you're not allowing us to do it to you. No, no. But I'm not making false accusations. No, no. No, no. But I'm not making false accusations like other people have. Okay. I'm not saying, oh, this lady. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not saying that. But this is why you asked why I made why we make a choice to do this. I explain that in detail to you. And, well, but I'm not, but I'm not. I don't not, think you made your point, but I did. Go ahead. I absolutely did. Well, this, but I think you're my decision was okay. made your point. But let's, like, what, what's your concern here? Um, it's making people uncomfortable. Okay, I'm not, it's not my job to make other people I'm comfortable. I'm not asking you to. Okay. I'm asking you to stop making them uncomfortable. I can't do that. That's, I'm not responsible for their comfort. I'm but absolutely, you can. I'm we not. Actually can. If so you want guys, so so you want everybody with a camera to just never film in public again? That would make everybody comfortable. Now, do you think that's a, is that what I'm saying? Do you really that, think that's, that's what That's exactly I'm what you said. No, I'm saying I'm not even talking about the cameras. I'm talking about the covered up and cameras together. But, but how does like if somebody without a camera is walking covered up, are you going to say anything to them? No. Exactly. That's wrong, actually, because this is the first day they've worn face covers and they get the same reactions that i do when i wear mine face with well, or without so so what you, you no 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 absolutely not they go off on their own and do their own businesses a lot of times and okay, let's just okay, maybe and they I get the same reactions understand what you do with this stuff okay 
Tell me, what do you I do? I can't with tell you that while we're. Oh, working. that's right. I tried that. <laughs> that's that's where the problem lies. How you doing? This is my friend Trey. I'm Stephanie. But I will give you. My name's Mike. Hi, Mike. I will give you that. I'm glad to meet you. You want to share your Okay. All right. Thank uh, you for introducing yourself. Of course, of course. So, are you? Do you do this all? Tell me what you do all over the city. Tell me what you guys do. So we actually travel all over the, all over the country. Oh, nice. Yeah. And we film and disseminate our interactions with people in public. Okay, so like, is this a funded project or something that you're doing? And you're not. You could say that I am retired, and nice. this is what I'm doing for fun. Oh, this is fun. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, absolutely, retirement. I'm sure is fun. Yeah. So, and I have to thank these are my sons, and I actually oh. they actually retired me, so I had to give them many many props for that. But for I the last four years, yeah. So for the last four years, they've been running my other companies for me, and Lovely. now now we get to enjoy some time together because they're about to retire here at the end of the year. So. Well, you guys are doing something right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. But I I I am sure that you you people just like I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. So I do understand. Okay. Okay. But I also understand that if I am in your position, that I have to also understand that. It is not your job to make me feel comfortable out in public. It's absolutely not. And no I'm matter what, no, no, no matter what you're doing, no matter how you're dressed. So let me ex let me put this in a broader perspective. So okay. um, we defend and stand for the rights and freedoms of the people in this country. So yeah. I will give you that a little bit of detail. Okay. In doing that, we are protecting the underserved communities, the the people that don't have the privilege or the background to be able to argue with cops and police and security people about our rights, our freedoms, the things. So there's some people that, you know, a cop will pull over, they get harassed and they get arrested because they don't know their rights. They don't know how to stand their ground. Yeah. Um, and let me explain this to you. Okay. Um, you're old enough to remember a time when his skin color would make you uncomfortable, not you, but would make yeah. people oh, uncomfortable that's, that's because he was walking down the street. Absolutely. My point made exactly. Yeah. So. Is that on him to make you comfortable because of his skin color? It, it, it absolutely no. It absolutely is I think it's apples because and you're no, no. But you're you're expecting a person right here doing a constitutional a constitutionally protected activity to make you comfortable. Well, I, I think just middle ground between comfortable and uncomfortable. I think so, but that's I not my job. So it, it's no, and I'm not right. asking you so to the make onus, comfortable. The onus on I'm you. Just asking to make them uncomfortable. The, I can't do that. The onus on you. Which you can. No, you absolutely can't. Because. Which you can. You, Us doing it's, our it's, job makes people uncomfortable. You okay. can't change that. Let me, let me explain okay. something else. So, okay. There's okay. disabilities like cere cerebral palsy. I have a niece with cerebral palsy, okay? Okay. There, her disability, the way she acts, the way she walks, makes everybody around her uncomfortable. Yeah, so, should I sure. keep her locked up inside? No. Is it her job to make other people feel comfortable? So you're comparing what you're doing to somebody Absol with some Absolutely, because it, it, you, you want a gray area on this one, but you don't want a gray area on that one or the person with a disability that's making people uncomfortable. So do you do you now understand how it's not my it's, job to make other people un to make other people comfortable? Just like it's not my. I'm not asking you to make not, anybody comfortable. I'm just asking you not to make them uncomfortable. I have the, I don't have that choice. I am not I, making them uncomfortable. Clearly you do. No, they like if you are uncomfortable, isn't that you being uncomfortable? It has nothing to do with me. We do not I, to I get that argument them. absolutely, but I don't I don't compare you guys to somebody with cerebral palsy. That's not the point. I'm I'm using situational awareness of what comfort and uncomfortable is to explain to you that I'm allowed to do this. I'm not going to stop doing it because you might feel uncomfortable. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> it might not be nice, but, the, but, the, but then goes along. So what if my niece is making you feel uncomfortable because of how she's behaving? That's not nice of her. I, again, I think that's apples and oranges. I don't it think it that's absolutely is. It, 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 it's parallel you comparisons. Have total control over what you're doing. That's it's parallel you comparisons all doesn't. the way around. I disagree. You have that right to disagree, okay. and that's so, the wonderful so thing about this country. I absolutely agree. I love this country. Absolutely. I'm privileged to live in this country, no doubt. My grandmother immigrated here, and she until she was. 90 years old, she was still kissing the ground every day. 
Yeah. yeah. We're so happy to be here. And hopefully you live that long too. I thank you. Yeah. As and you guys too. And it sounds like you're really I appreciate that you're spending your energy doing something purposeful. Absolutely. And we are. This yeah. is absolutely purposeful. Can I just ask you maybe can you walk with me to somewhere else? No, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't be escorted around. <laughs> Absolutely not. So let me explain. So the person who called you, I'm assuming, is the female that worked in there, correct? Uh, I don't, yeah, somebody. Okay, yeah, I don't know who let was. me explain the behavior that brought this on. Okay. 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 So the gentleman that was doing the, the, the blue thing here, the, the seal ride? Uh, yeah, it's okay. that one, yeah. So he was down here and he was giving the rules and procedures of how to operate the ladder and all of that stuff, okay? Yeah while I was trying to capture that on video with the intent of disseminating that on YouTube and public forums that we have, which is useful. Tell me that wouldn't be useful for people to just know that before coming down here, like the information. And it's not, and, it, and it's something that- the person looking for that it information doesn't, it doesn't matter. on your website? Absolutely. So I disagree so, that it's useful. No, no, it, it, is, it is useful I regardless. Disagree. Okay. I don't think regardless. the person looking for it is gonna be looking at your website. You don't know that. So I we actually, that. so one of our channels is a travel channel. Oh. So you don't think on a travel channel that that would be useful information? Yes. Now okay. How is it a okay. But no, channel? hold on. Hold on. Let's, okay. let's not get too far off the topic here. I'm, I'm with you. While I was filming him disseminating the rules of getting up and down the ladder and for safety purposes, the lady in here peeking behind the pillar right here using the little microphone that they have in there kept making noises to interfere with my recording of this information which is not unlawful for me to do she created a situation that after this was done i then had to go over here and figure out what the hell was going on and why she was intending on doing that it was 100 percent purposeful she kept peeking around making noises peeking around making noises peeking around i have it all on video she did it intentionally so she doesn't then get to run away when I come here with the camera, call you guys, and then have me escorted. It's not going to happen. She created the situation from so, the start. So we're, um, I, I, I don't totally understand what you're doing, honestly, mm -hmm. but, um, but I don't. I don't think you're trying to cause harm to anybody. I'm absolutely not. But, um, have I have I come off in a way? Have I not answered some of the questions that you've asked and been very professional? No, no, some. Yeah. But some. have I not been very Maybe professional? Not the most one, I introduced myself. You introduced anyway, yourself. Right. Like we've had a very cordial conversation. I'm I sure agree. you agree. We have had a cordial, okay, cordial conversation. So now that you've had a cordial conversation and feel like you know that my intention is not nefarious, I yes, I, I agree I'm not going to move from here. I'm not going to well, be escorted so away. Here's, here's where I was going with okay. that. Is we can ask. We can escort you off of Seaport Village. Okay. And um, but this that's Seaport Village, and but you would have okay. But you'd have to call law enforcement for that. You wouldn't because we as security. Okay. Or as you'd walk off, you wouldn't walk off with us. No, we wouldn't. We'd have okay. to. I, I would need a lawful order to do so from a, a public place from law enforcement okay. because that would then violate my constitutional rights and that they would have to I cut me a check. I don't, I don't think that's true. I'm it, on it private is. property. I don't it think is. that's true. It is. So it, it's owned by the port. It's not private property. It's been made public Super access village. property. It's owned by the port of San Diego. You're right. It is public property. So, um, so I, I trust me. I look all this up before we come to each individual spot. So we look at the. the port, so we look at we look up the. It's always been represented. Okay. It, it is absolutely not. Okay. It is. We've done a GIS survey, which says I can stand right here. I can stand right there. I can stand over there. I can even go further in, but we haven't done that. Okay. So I'm just going to change the subject for a second. Okay. Is uh, and maybe you're not going to answer this, but. Is this a project that's like funded by a grant or, no, or something? No, absolutely not. I self-fund all of it. <laughs> wow. And you're retired. Yep. Clearly did something right. I try. Yeah. Um, so if I did call law enforcement? I would need them to give me the directive to leave under yeah. the threat of arrest so that I, you know, because that right. gives me legal standing to then sue them in court. And that's, that's as security here, that's our job. We're, yeah. um observe and report yep. and and when when we don't when things don't happen when yeah. we ask them that's what we do absolutely we call the that's 100 percent fine okay should we call the horse please i don't know a family that closes those
I will inform you that the only thing that the harbor police will do once they decide to get here is let you know that we they can't do anything. It's it's we're doing a lawfully constitutionally protected activity out in public. It's just there's I can do this in a I can literally go into post office. We did yesterday and do this in post offices. I can do it in city halls. I can do it in courthouses. I can do it in any public building what or property. At the post office. Did anybody? Did you get any? Comments? Oh yeah, no. We, so most of them go pretty well. Okay. Yesterday, everybody lost their mind because we were in a very elite neighborhood where they treat people like trash, and yeah. we got to disseminate a lot of that last night. So. Okay. So. Um... But it must not be any fun. This kind of conflict, it must not be any fun for you. So this I don't, so here's the thing. I don't consider this conflict. Okay. I'm happy to have had the conversation with you. Honestly, I you consider this, too, I, I consider this educational and I prefer teaching versus spatting back and forth, which is why I haven't raised my voice with you. I've had moments of frustration in this conversation. I still haven't like, oh, fuck it. I'm not here for that. Same I'm here. here. Yeah to work with the public and educate the public and remind you that the rights that I am fighting for and and if you don't use them you lose them I mean that, that can't be more true are also your rights and are also his rights you right. know so the more we hold not just city workers and the public and remind the public of all of our rights the more we hold people accountable and remind them of our rights the less people get pulled over and get their rights taken from them without even knowing and abused and searched when they don't realize yeah. they don't have to give that the the, the, the permission to search yeah. um people don't know that like there's people that know so so there's people like that don't know the most basic one which is like let's pretend for a minute you get pulled over by a cop and you give that cop permission to search your car did you know that at any second you can terminate that permission it, it's not permanent literally any second you can say i don't I, i'm done you no longer have consent to search and he has to stop searching your vehicle and let you go and a lot of people don't know just a simple thing like that. And that's what we're here to educate everybody we have a conversation like this about. Did something happen? What, why is this issue so, so important to you? So I, this is just I a spent question. a lot of my younger years uh, dealing with law. So I did, you know, I was filing motions to help people and stuff like that. I wasn't even a lawyer or a paralegal and I was helping underserved communities file motions on civil and criminal cases that would help them, you know, expedite their cases along, that would slow things down, that, you know, a lot of people don't realize in a lot of states you can get a, it's what's called a mitigation aggravation hearing. Um, so like, let's say you get a plea bargain and you committed an offense and you, you plead guilty to it and you're about to go to sentencing, you can actually file a motion to have your sentencing delayed and have a mitigation hearing uh, set forth. And what that does is it gives you an opportunity to, to bring in family, friends, pastors, anybody to come in and testify on your half. And 80% of the time, your sentences are reduced by up to 30% just by holding a hearing that most people don't even know exists because they're not told about it by their public pretenders. And, you know, it, it's something they don't want the, they don't want that on their plate. They got enough type thing. Yeah. So it's something if you don't know about it, you don't know to ask for it. So there's a lot of people in prison that are doing extra time just because they didn't know that hearing exists. So I've been passionate about these. I, we were, so here in San Diego, I'm, I am from here in San Diego. We don't live here anymore, but I'm from San Diego. And to this day, we still help a program that helps homeless kids and teens on the street. And one of the biggest things we have to help them with is understanding their rights when it comes to their interactions with law enforcement. Wow. And I'm talking 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 that are living without parents, without family, without resources on the streets. And so we're, and we are helping those, we are helping that population of underserved youth. And well, it's, you know, so, you. so that, you. that should tell you a little bit more about, you know, why we're here, what yeah. we're doing. I, I've fed you a little bit more information. So if you still want to call law enforcement, that's your decision to call, but oh, I'm, no, I'm going to have the same, to. I'm going to have, I'm going to have the same conversation with them when they get here. Um, so is there anything I can do? help you just walk away from this business from this business yeah. <laughs> am i just making it worse so i thought they closed up well it's the middle of the day they shouldn't be closed i mean i don't think do you think it's almost the super bowl are you guys gonna get home and watch the super bowl at least well we're off at three okay right. depends on what team he's going for then i'll walk away oh oh pick a team <laughs> So, I, I, okay, so 
my team, I mean, Chargers all the way, you know, yes. from here, you know, long story, they left yeah. San Diego. I get it. Right, right, right. Um, I love the Patriots. So I don't really have a team of my choice here, but I am a Tech 9 fan through and through. I actually brought, so I actually got to go backstage with Tech 9, all that stuff, but because he's a Chiefs fan, we'll, we'll get out of your hair. <laughs> Can I tell um, you a cute chief story? Yes, my go ahead. My seven-year-old granddaughter is in town, lives out of town, is here for the weekend. Okay. And she came up to me, and, and I guess they watch football in the house, but I didn't think it was anything she paid attention to. She came up to me and she said, who are you working for at the Super Bowl? I said, what do you know about the Super Bowl? And I, I said, and I don't think I answered, I said, who are you working for? And she said, the Chiefs. And then I realized why, because she loves that blonde singer. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I do appreciate you engaging in a professional and, and way. And um, sure, we have, so Elite is a large security company. Yes. And I will tell you 90% of the people that we have dealt with with Elite go really badly. Oh, Because they, they try to enforce things that don't exist. They try to state law that isn't there. Um, to have, like authority they, they don't have. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's, I get it, man. It, it's do what you got to do but if you're gonna do what you got to do you got to learn to do what you got to do so that you can do it right and i appreciate your professionalism and candor i appreciate that he just wanted nothing to do with this and just... <laughs> um <laughs> but but hopefully you've heard a few things that you've been able to learn something because i mean at the end of the day i'm not here to one up anybody i'm i'm not here for tit for tat I'm here to teach and educate my sons who run. I mean, they've been running my company since before he was even an adult. Wow. Um, both of them, actually. How old are you now? 22. Oh, you're... So he started working for me when he was 10. And so... All through the teenage years, you worked with your dad? Absolutely. So another, ran a another random That's fact wonderful. is we adopted them. Oh. And so I was not in a situation to be like, Oh, I got a, I got an instant family here. All of a sudden, it was kind of a situation where I had no, I had to adopt them because you know it was a family situation. Okay, yeah, yeah. And part of that was like, well, guess what, kids, you're coming to work because I don't know what else to do with you, you know, um, because this is my life. My life is I was working 24 seven, and they while they did kind of lose a little bit of the childhood experience and you know going through all that, now they have a lot of professional experience and. At yeah. a young age, they have an opportunity here within the next year to eighteen months to retire themselves. That's, so, that is in, a, in a in a that's real, a real actual opportunity to retire, and I think that that's one of the best gifts that I could have given to them, is no giving them a pathway to that. So, I agree, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I, d you know, that. well, and that's the thing is like. In California, just California alone, like right now, you need two and a half million dollars in cash and assets to retire. Do you have that? I'm 63. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's yeah. it's a disgusting situation that they've put everybody in. It's like, you know, as old as, you, as the second you're old enough to work, you work until you die, yeah. and it sucks. And that's yeah. and that's the American dream that they sold us since the 70s, and it's just not it's not that anymore. It really isn't. You know, you have to yeah. find inventive ways. Every second that you are not on the clock, you got to find an inventive way to put yourself out there to do something productive that'll make you money down the line and not Uncle Sam and everybody else, you know, I worried about their you. bullshit, I you know? Um, I, I it's, yeah, I'm sure, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen, how I'm going to retire. And know, it, if Social yeah. Security will be there or I'll... So I, I don't I think know. as unstable as Social Security has been for the last 40 years, they still made it work. It's not going anywhere. I agree. It would cause an entire breakdown of the system. The economy, so yeah. they'll scare you with it, you know, um, which is why they'll give you little tiny increases. They'll scare you, but then say, oh, well, you know, let's try to do something so they don't actually have to do anything. They just give these little micro increases. Yeah. But because you're so fearful of losing it that you get excited over the little 10 like, percent wow, here, you know, every 10 years. Um, that yeah, yeah, so and that's that's all it is, man. And and it, it sucks, man. And I feel I, I do feel really bad for people that don't get the opportunity to really truly enjoy life. Clocking in and out, it's not that's not it, man. My my son, uh, this one here has been to the Philippines three or four times, and you know, amazing. Like he, and so he wants he wants to he actually wants to get out of he wants to go to the Philippines sooner than later. He loves it out there, he's got a lot of friends out there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, like, so we actually rent a two-story house out there 
right now, like we pay rent on every month. Uh, my wife's sister lives there, and rent, the house cleaner, the her all utilities, and giving her allowance is two hundred twenty dollars a month. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, but we'll get out of here, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, what was your name? Dre. Dre. Are you gonna get to watch the game? Or are you gonna? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get to watch it. Perfect. All right, guys. All right, brother. All right, yeah. You guys have a good one. So that was really cool. All right, guys. Beautiful, sunny San Diego. We finally got some sunlight here. Um, Seaport Village today. Today was great. We did a little bit downtown, then we got into Seaport Village area. Went wonderfully. Um, we had a good conversation at the end of the video here with the security guard. I'm very pleasant how it went. I don't think she understood much of it, um, which is fine, but I still think some of the points got to dig in a little deep, so um, that's good. on our way out of town guys look how filthy the street is 